I promised you this was only going to be one day. But uh, I got an email tonight, and I can't seem to get it out of my mind. Apparently, uh, somebody decided to write a, their thoughts on the support for House Bill 181, which is the fascist control of uh, naturopathic physicians. The interesting thing about it is that this email, even though the person didn't sign it, actually appears to have come from somebody that is uh, in the Liberty Group. So the thing that I'm really frustrated about is I'm halfway ready to pull my freaking hair out. I've talked about this before, where the, the fact that most of the people in the group have such a variety of different understandings of what liberty means, few are even able to define it, at least define it properly. I'm not even sure I'm on the, on the wing that I could actually do it. The, the interesting thing about it, though, is that in this particular email, we've got this person that said that uh, they wanted to be able to clarify some much-needed light on some inaccuracies that I have on fascist control of uh, government control on private business. They went on to be able to say, the quote was taken directly from the IDAANP, the Idaho chapter for the American Association of Naturopathic Medicines. It said that it would not affect anyone's ability to practice or run a business as a naturopathic doctor. Really? Obama says, if you want your doctor, you can keep him. Really? However, HB 181 expands the rights of natural expanding the rights of naturopathic physicians. Really? What part of expanding the rights of anyone is the ability for government to be able to increase regulations on a private business? This guy is clearly disconnected on so many different levels. Now he goes on to be able to say expanding the rights of these physicians. Government is expanding rights now. Not only are they protecting them, they're expanding them. Isn't that wonderful? Expanding them. For those, oh my gosh, there's exceptions. Yes, with a four-year federally accredited naturopathic med medical school that have passed the, the national exam for the MPLEX. HB 181 does not interfere with Idaho Code 5451. Naturopathic Physicians Licensing, Licensing Act that defines naturopathic doctors. No jobs will be lost with HB 101. Please stop sending out the wrong message. Are you kidding me? Let me get this straight, Mr. Liberty-minded person, whoever you are. People's rights began before government even started, before people even created government. Okay? So the fact that, so government was created to be able to protect, protect and preserve the rights of people for future generations. Okay? Well, now, what part of the government controlling, regulating, putting disciplinary actions and all of those things actually expands the rights of natural doctors? This is a problem that we're having in the, in the liberty movement. This is, this is a problem that, that the liberty folks always blame the left. Oh, they're so ignorant. They're so ignorant. Really? And then we have people on the liberty movement. They're like, oh, well, I watch Fox News and, you know, I'm a patriot. Yeah. Here's a guy. Here's, here's a patriot that believes in fascist control and believes that government control actually expands the rights of a particular private business. This is how disconnected we are. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm not sure whether I want to pull my hair out or pull his hair out. Of course, that's what the global agenda is, is it, anyway, isn't it? It's all about being able to pin us against one another. Well, in my anger, I must make sure that I separate and people understand that it's nothing personal. It's just an age of misinformation where everybody thinks they're the freaking genius. Everybody thinks they've got all of the right answers, don't they? But they're not even thinking about it logically. You know, if I happen to be in mis misstating something, or misstating, and that, that's a good one, isn't it? If I happen to be wrong in something, I've most of the time told people to be able to correct me where I'm wrong. So I hope that this person is just as willing to be able to be corrected as I am. And at least let's not try to be hypocritical in the same freaking sentence. Can we do that? 
First of all, government has never expanded the rights of anything. They have always destroyed the rights of those things. And that's a fundamental, that's a fundamental piece of, of, of libertarianism. That's the, one of the first things that any of us should know. So anyway, this thing made me mad. I'm telling you guys, I, I'm telling you about. I was going to wait till tomorrow, but I couldn't. But tomorrow's Saturday, so I might take the day off. And so I want you guys to have a good weekend. Um, it's time to, I was talking to a friend of mine today, Chad. He's a good money. He's a good buddy. We've been accused of being brothers. <clears throat> and I'm glad for that because he's a good man. Um, he says it's time to take the gloves off. And I asked him what he's doing. He says, oh, I'm just being, I'm just being a butt on Facebook. Well, he didn't really say that. And I said, yeah. I said, it's about that time, isn't it? You can feel it. It's something inside. It can't be stopped. And, you know, when, when everything that we know related to freedom hangs in the balance, and for every moment that we're not talking about it and trying to help people really understand what it's all about it's another time where we haven't reached out to somebody and perhaps missed a great opportunity to be able to find people that have much more influence than perhaps we do so have a good weekend you guys and thanks for your time talk to you later bye